y'all what's cracking lagging today hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i am here i made it finally to midland texas the the heart of the oil industry for texas midland odessa area there's oil drilling and you know everything going on around here as far as the oil industry very expensive it's very expensive to 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 get a hotel here it's very expensive to eat here most hotels are booked for years which is unfortunate because uh, for people that come as a tourist I don't really know why you'd want to come here as a tourist right but <laughs> just if you did um, you have to come out I mean it's real expensive and it's you know really not nothing extremely nice to look at you're from Midland, Odessa. I apologize. I'm just uh, saying it like I, like it is. Well, like I see it. And um, every yeah, but everything's super super expensive. Like a little a little one bedroom RV is over a thousand dollars to rent. I mean, you make the good money. Of course, you do make good money, but you have it's very expensive to live. Like I was saying, food, fuel, um, cost of living, all of the above is extremely expensive. Now I'm good. I've done the oil stuff before and uh, I'm done. I'm done with it. Not unless it really comes back hard in my area, but even then I think I'll kind of, I wouldn't do it anyway. Just because I know how vol how volatile it is. All right, so we were supposed to be here at 8 a.m., but because of the delay with the trailer and um, getting loaded or picking up the trailer, you know, just all that process, uh, we weren't able to make it at 8 a.m. We had to stop before we got here, take a 10 hour. So right now it's currently 1:36 p.m. I did let my dispatcher know last night what was going on uh, so he could make arrangements or call him. I haven't heard anything back from him since yesterday, so usually, 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 big usually, if they, if they call you back, if they don't call you back, then you're good. But, uh, so yeah, that's, that's the deal. This is the place here. Uh, let's see, put my emergency lights on because I've never been here. I don't know what it, where I need to go exactly. Exit only, entrance on the West Gate. All right, so let's go on down to the West Gate. Now hiring. Everybody's hiring. Y'all want to come over here and make a quick buck? Come on. They're all hiring over here. They can't keep enough drivers just because the lifestyle is so harsh. A lot of the times you work, you work, uh, you know, 12-hour shifts and you work all day, every day. You know, it's it take a toll on you for sure. I know it did, it did a little bit for me when I was doing it. Yeah, that is a heck of a speed. They got some. <laughs> they, they got some good speed bumps here. Uh, here. Entrance only. Exit at East Gate. All visitors must check in at the office. Where is the office? I guess it's this little shack right here on the left. Okay, guys, this is as far as we're going to record right now. We're going to unload, and then uh, we'll catch you guys when we get out of here. All 
All right, we got it all done, got it taken care of. I took a while to offload. Get comfortable real quick. I'm gonna hit the road. Get this sweater off. I don't like riding around with no puffy sweaters or jackets or any of the above. But uh, anyways, we offloaded. Took a while because we offloaded into totes. Guys know what those are they're like these uh, square containers they hold uh, I think they hold a few gallon a few hundred gallons I'm hundred percent sure but um, yeah we offloaded into that so it, it took a while they didn't have the room they didn't have the room there at the uh, facility as far as like in their tanks so we went ahead and offloaded it that way. Which I mean we've done we do that all the time too. It's not as common, but we do do that. Offload into totes. See all these this is like see all these tankers? There's all these I mean it's rare to see box vans and stuff around here because that's not the industry from here. Over here it's um, these over here on this side are water, water haulers, and these over here are uh, frac sand trucks, and all of this has to do with the oil industry. This is what keeps the, the wheels turning here in the oil, the oil business, is all, this, uh, all these trucks. If we go over to the, to the pilot over there, I mean there are a ton of frag trucks over there. You know, they just, I don't know if you guys believe that the fracking does anything with the, uh, ooh, look at these lines. I don't know if you guys believe that, that fracking does anything to do with, uh, you know, having earthquakes and stuff like that, but they did have a little small little tremor yesterday. I think it was like a three, like a three point something, nothing major. But nonetheless, it was, uh, you know, a lot of people attribute that or say that that's, that's got to do with uh, fracking. I don't know how true that is. But I mean, it kind of would make sense, right? But I don't know. All right, guys. Well, let's get serious and let's put her in the wind and see how far we're going to get today. Hopefully, we can make it all the way back to Houston. I don't think we will. But at least get there close enough to, for tomorrow just to uh, go drop off this trailer and then head to the house. How y'all doing? Hope you guys are doing great today. Woo! It is chilly, but it is beautiful out here. Midland, Odessa area, right south of Midland, Odessa. Stopped to take my 30 minute break. Wanted to get out and walk around a little bit. What is that? What kind of bug is this, guys? Y'all see that? Yeah, it's a little, I don't know what that is. I'm pretty sure there's all kinds of crazy critters out here. Especially out here in West Texas. A bunch of big deer too. That's a big thing out here, deer hunting, hog hunting, plenty of hogs, jackrabbits, and a whole bunch of oil field stuff. I already kind of pretty much got out of, uh, there's some oil field stuff around here still but I pretty much got out of some of it back uh, a few miles back there was a whole bunch of oil field stuff a whole bunch of uh, pump jacks and but you know I was through here 
I don't know, about three, four years ago, and uh, you couldn't even drive up and down this road how packed it was with oil field equipment. Trucks, oil rigs, uh, just uh, semi, you know, the frack trucks and, and, um, and water trucks and oil trucks. But it's pretty much died down. I guess, I mean, that's why, I mean, fuel prices are so cheap right now, they, it's a lot cheaper for them to um, store the oil in the ground than it is to put it up somewhere where they gotta uh, pay for somebody to store it. So, once the prices go back up, they open it back up and they start uh, making money again. I'm right here, pretty cool little view here. See the sun in the background setting, it's beautiful. I don't know if y'all can hear me that well, it is a little windy. And uh, checking out a different perspective of uh, hot chocolate, check it out. Let's park next to this little ridge right here. And there she is. I ain't never seen you from up here, big girl. <laughs> Yes, I talked to my truck. That would be making fun of me. We gotta have a, a harmony. We gotta be, be togetherness. Be good together. Woo, boy, but look at this. Y'all see that rock right there? That one right there? It's barely holding on. And if it were to fall, and hurt my hot chocolate, I would be in some pain. She's a little dirty right now. There's all this bad weather. She's a little dirty. That's our tanker for today. No ISO, no chassis this time. We have a regular tanker. It's the one that had the uh, ABS light on. Still has it. Just trying to make sure that uh, hopefully I don't get pulled over with it because they fixed it for a little bit and then it came back on. But yeah, different view, huh, guys? Different view of old, oh, not old, the shade old. Different view of hot chocolate up here. It almost looks black from up here. Sometimes that's the thing I love about this truck. Sometimes she looks black. Sometimes she looks brown. At times she even looks uh, kind of gray sometimes. And uh, depending on how the sun hits it, sometimes it's a, uh, it's a dark. Sometimes it's a, um, a dark brown, a light brown. I mean, it's, it's a crazy color. I love that color. That's one thing I get the most compliments about is uh, her color. And uh, when I, they had like 10 trucks to pick from whenever I, uh, I picked her out. And I had originally picked a, a blue truck. And uh, when I saw her, uh, I fell in love. Beautiful brown girl. I said, you are coming home with me. <laughs> yeah, guys. But yeah, like I said, just taking my 30 minute break. Decided to yap with you guys a little bit. Get a, di a different view of old hot chocolate there. And uh, well, I keep saying old of hot chocolate there. <laughs> It's a beautiful sunset in the background. About to get about to get dark. It's pretty windy out here. It's 40 degrees right now. It's supposed to be in the um, I think in the 20s tonight. So here, but when I'm uh I'm headed back home, back south, it's not gonna it's supposed to be that. <laughs> I don't know how far I got, but uh my, my audio or actually my video just stopped recording. My SD card got full. Man, I messed up one of my, I messed up my biggest uh, SD card that I have, the 128. I had the laptop sitting in my passenger seat and I stopped and uh, when, it, when my laptop fell, it hit the floor and it landed on that SD card and snapped it in two. Luckily, I was able to get the, the data off of it, the videos, but um, it's uh, no good anymore. So I'm dealing with this 64 gig and it uh, <coughs> it's a little, it's a little annoying because I'll be in the middle of, of recording something and it'll stop recording because it's full. And I have to go back and and clean it up and then uh, 
continue recording, so a little tedious sometimes, but we'll get over it. Took out the cactus out here. Make some good tacos out of them. We can make tacos out of anything, really. Let's see if we can see the sun peek back out of that cloud right there. It might take too long. <laughs> but yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the ride with me today. And a uh, little bit of the oil industry. Uh, not really much in depth, but just a little bit of the oil industry. And uh, just what's going on out here. It is a little slow, like I said. Uh, there's not much going on. It does slow down quite a bit. There's still work going on out here, but just not how how it um, how it was a few years back. So uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the truck, and uh, it's about to start getting dark. So we're gonna go ahead and leave you guys here. Thank you guys for being here one more time, guys. Don't forget to help one another when you can. Be kind to one another. Anybody contemplating suicide? 800-273-8255. Please get help. Somebody is always willing to listen and is uh, that does love you and does care about you. So get the help because nobody wants to see you go. See you guys on the next video. Peace.